So, uh, stayed at Blue Mountain Shelter last night. It was my first time sleeping actually in a shelter instead of setting up a tent and just camping at one. I was supposed to thunderstorm last night, but didn't. I didn't want to tear down my camp in the rain. Um, so that's why I chose to do that. We were nine deep in a seven person shelter, so it was shoulder to shoulder, but still slept all right. Um, yesterday was the first day where I upped my mileage, did between 16 and 17 miles today, or yesterday. Today's gonna be another 15 and a half, hopefully, but a much, much more difficult 15 and a half than yesterday. The elevation changes on this day. It's a, it's like you gave a three-year-old a crayon and told them to draw mountains and they just zip, zip, zip. So good times, but um, looking forward to tomorrow though. Uh, when I wake up, it'll be a uh, short four mile hike into uh, uh, Dick's, Creek Gap, Dick's Creek Gap, um, where myself and six of the people I've been hiking with for a few days now, uh, already have bunks reserved at the top of Georgia Hostel there. So we will get uh, showered and get a proper meal, laundry, um, and should be in there by like, hopefully by 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. So pretty much have the whole day to like resupply and feast and relax and and just uh, have a good day, hopefully. So um, about four miles into my day today, it's about uh, 1030. So got out of camp at a decent hour. Um, just been going straight up and down and got uh, got like 11, 12 more miles of that. So, um, but uh, still, have, <laughs> still haven't really been rained on. I mean, it's sprinkled at night a few times and a little misting through the trees, but um, just haven't been poured on yet, so. Very, very lucky for that. Uh, I know that's going to change eventually, but I'm going to enjoy every day of it while I can. So, um, yeah, just got to get back at it. Uh, I feel good. My legs feel good. My knees were giving me problems. They're, they're, they're much better, so they're starting to get on board. So I'm happy about that. Might have something to do with the uh, copious amount of ibuprofen I've been ingesting, which is uh, not sustainable, but seems to be working for now. Um, yeah, that's what we got, so... shelter where I tented for the night and a thunderstorm rolled through, stayed dry. Um, but all my clothes that I hiked in yesterday are all wet because it rained most of the day. So um, normally I have to put those uh, wet hiking clothes back on in the morning. Um, but luckily um, going into town is only four miles away, getting hostile for the night, laundry shower, that kind of thing. So uh, I have the luxury of hiking in my sleep clothes right now, uh, which is generally something could never do because if I was just hiking another day on trail um, you know you got to keep those sleep clothes um, dry at all costs so usually you'd be waking up putting on wet socks you know wet pants wet shirts not today so it's a very good thing gonna be a pretty easy four miles to get into uh, Hiawassee uh, top of Georgia hostel and I'm really really looking forward to it so um, awesome Just came out of the woods, a quick four mile hike this morning. Uh, shuttle's up here, about to take us down to uh, top of Georgia Hostel to spend the day. 
Some people are doing some trail magic here. Uh, Sierra and her husband Walkman, or Walkman rather. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm drinking box wine out of a juice cup at quarter after 10. <laughs> so uh, what, on a Tuesday, Tuesday, it's Tuesday. Okay, so uh, yeah, um, lovely. Cold one today. The high is like mid 20s, supposed to get down to like 16 tonight. So that'll be a, an interesting evening. But everything's dry from gear wise. Um, had an easy four mile day yesterday down to the top of Georgia Hostel, which was fantastic. They take such good care of you. 35 bucks, you know, uh, place to stay, uh, breakfast, and uh, you know, showered and full laundry service for us. Shuttled us into town to, to resupply and hit a pub for some uh, non-trail food and a couple pints, um, good stuff. It's uh, So today it's just a matter of uh, trying to be conscious of my pace and uh, you know that sweet spot of walking fast enough to uh, stay warm, but definitely not trying to break a sweat and get, get wet at all because that could be bad news bears when it's gonna be 16 out tonight. So as long as I can uh, stick to that plan, should be good to go probably won't be filming a lot today because it's not fun uh, stopping and taking a glove off to pull this phone out but uh everyone's in pretty good spirits after that short day yesterday and getting dry and clean and fed and uh you know some uh creature comforts there so uh yeah just gotta keep at it i think we're only doing about 11 miles today to uh, get to the shelter which if there's space available i'm gonna try to set up in there tonight. It's usually a little bit warmer in a shelter with all the bodies in there than, than in my tent, but either way, I'd probably make it till morning. So, um, yeah, beautiful. This is up in Georgia in March, there's snow on the ground. Yeah, so yesterday was less than awesome. Um, leaving the, the hostel and going up to this uh, shelter, it was like a 12 mile day. And the last half of it, the weather just went bananas on us. It was hiking in a blizzard the last three or four miles. Um, got pretty dehydrated because I couldn't stop to filter water because stopping would have been bad news. Uh, didn't film much because I couldn't take my gloves off because that would have been bad news as well. Uh, made it into the shelter and set up my tent. Was in there by like 3.30, 4 o'clock. And uh, just was the only way to stay warm. Well, not warm, but not freezing to death. Uh, I think the temperature got down to about 15. And the wind was just whipping, so I'm sure that wind chill was well below zero. On the first day of spring in North Carolina. So... Oh yeah, I'm not in Georgia anymore. Um, it's beautiful up here. If my uh, mental state was a bit better, I'd probably appreciate it a little more than I do, but uh, feeling pretty weak, didn't, uh, didn't sleep last night. Uh, not really sure what the plan is today. A lot of the people I'm hiking with are going to a shelter. It's about another 12 mile day. It's most likely where I'll end up but a couple miles coming up here, there's a trailhead. And if there's any day hikers that are getting in their car, I might just uh, bum a ride into town and relax. Um, so, kind of playing it by ear. I want to go on, but I also just uh, feeling really weak and tired and whatnot. But uh, starting to warm up. Feeling better already. It's uh, supposed to get up to 40 today. It's probably like 25 now, no wind. So it's a million times better than yesterday. Um, so yeah, it's not all sunshine and 
uh, cheeseburgers and uh, scenic views, sometimes you almost lose your fingers. So, but uh, that was, was pretty gnarly. So on the positive side, going through that, I still want to be on trail. Not necessarily at this moment, but uh, overall, it's still a place to be. So I guess that's a, a good sign. Um, yeah, it is. It is pretty to see the snow on the mountains in the south. I don't think that happens very often. So as far as I know. Decided to push on. I uh, started to feel a bit better. Got some food in me, a liter or two of water. I uh, pushed past that gap where I was thinking about hitching out. Um, pretty gorgeous out here. It's warmed up. It's fairly comfortable now. Feet are wet, but wool is doing its thing, so not really a problem there. Um, wow. Just absolutely gorgeous out there. Yeah. I don't think very many people get to uh, that start this time of year and get to see snow on the mountains like this. They also don't have to hike up the mountains. Sub-zero wind chill with hail to the face, but you know, uh, I don't think I have a ton further to the shelter for the night, maybe five miles. Um, been hiking uphill for like the last two hours so I'm thinking the last few miles will be a hopefully be a nice gradual downhill slope night was much better than the previous basically roofied myself with a couple Benadryl got like 10 11 hours of sleep definitely feel refreshed and recharged it's a bit warmer today uh, currently uh, probably gonna do about a 12 mile day uh, which includes this climb up Albert Mountain that I'm on right now which uh, is close to the hundred mile mark as well as has a uh, fire tower on the top of it to climb for what I imagine will be a fantastic view. Um, after that, today, this 12 mile day, it's only four miles into uh, Franklin, North Carolina, which I'll likely hike in that four miles and take a Nero day and rest up and check the town out. A slight chance that if I'm really feeling good, when I get to the end of this 12 miles, I might push that last four uh, and then actually hike basically no miles tomorrow, which would be my first zero. But chances are I'll just uh, stop at the 12. That's kind of what we did back in uh, 
Hiawassee, it's nice because that honestly at four miles doesn't even feel like you're hiking at this point. And, uh, and then you're only paying for one night of accommodations instead of two. So it is a uh, kind of like a zero for the price of a Nero. Isn't that fun? So uh, a little muddy as all the snow and ice is melting off the mountain, but got some cool icicles hanging and stuff. So that's neat. But uh, yeah, just uh, pushing on. Okay, so past the 100 mile mark a little ways ago, so a nice, nice little milestone. Um, <laughs> had to makeshift a picture of it with a stick and two rocks because there wasn't a sign for it. Um, the trail changes every year uh, as far as distances. So there, there was a 100 mile sign at the, the fire tower on Mount Elbert, but um, my GPS app said the actual half mile mark was a half mile further. Um, so I assumed there'd be a sign there, so I didn't take one at the fire tower. Didn't take a picture of the fire tower. Um, so we're gonna do the little makeshift one there. So uh, the trail's been a breeze since we left Albert Mountain. Uh, and if it sticks like this, I'm gonna push all the way into, I uh, uh, can't think of where the hell it is I'm going. Franklin. Push all the way into Franklin tonight. I just got a text from a few uh, people I've been hiking with that they pushed a little further than me yesterday. Um, and so they're already in town, they're in at a hostel. And so I may push in there tonight and catch up with them and then zero there tomorrow because there's a there's a bar in town there, the Lazy Hiker, and tomorrow they're doing a Saturday, they're doing a like a hiker feed, just grilling up free dogs and stuff all day. And uh, they got a release of a new 110 IPA beer and it's just gonna be a probably like an all-day shindig thing so sounds like a blast on a Saturday I haven't taken a zero yet been on trail for like 10 days um, so wasn't really planning on pushing all the way into Franklin today but when I got that text that they were all there and uh, what's going on there tomorrow I'm feeling quite motivated especially if this trail stays as easy as it is it's basically been a sidewalk for like the last two miles which is awesome so i'm sure it won't stay that way but fingers crossed so um yeah so that's how it is Okay, so I'm nearly down. I'm like five, ten minutes walk from being down to Winding Stair Gap. And then I just got to stick my thumb out and carewack myself uh, into Franklin, which shouldn't be too hard. I think it's a pretty hiker-friendly town. Um, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm feeling good about pushing in and, and getting into Franklin tonight and really looking forward to that zero day tomorrow. Uh, after that uh, blizzard, and sleepless night the other night i i really wanted to, to bail out at four miles in and, and get into town and lick my wounds and uh, and i didn't i pushed i made it like a 13 14 mile day and then today the original plan was to do about another 13 14 miles and come into franklin you know just a four mile hike tomorrow um but i you know i pushed it and, and i'm getting in there tonight so i'm feeling pretty accomplished about that feel good about it uh, and feel pretty deserving of my uh, zero day. So, uh, plus I think it's gonna be storming a lot tomorrow. So it's a really good day to not be on trail probably. A uh, few of the folks I've been hiking with for the last week or so are already in town and a couple of them are behind me. And I'll be coming in tomorrow. So the, the folks that are in town tonight, I don't, some of them will probably push on tomorrow. Some will probably stay and, make it a zero themselves who knows we just kind of play it 
play it by ear out here. Um, but uh, yeah, I think today's gonna end up being about 17 miles for me, which should be my longest day so far on trail by about a mile, maybe mile and a half. So legs feel good, still a little bit of knee pain, but only on the descents and it, it's not hurting, it's just sore. And uh, my ibuprofen intake has uh, been reduced too, so that's probably a, a good thing. I think I probably could use my kidneys later in life. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, where we're at. And uh, all right. Sit, Soze, sit. Good boy.